What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Bushido Brown I'm back with another reaction video. Oh yeah, yes. We gotta check this out, bro. I had, I just had mad do reaction video on it. I just said, man, I gotta do something. Boom. So, uh, like I say all the time, if you stay here this long, go and press that subscribe button, bro. Notification bell. And react to the video. If you like it, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Simple as that. And let's check out. Acon City slash Solar City slash Wakanda. Oh, shit. I'm Wakanda. Wakanda will no longer watch from the shadows. We cannot. We must not. For the first time in history, two worlds are combining. Fiction is becoming reality. We've all heard of Wakanda, the beautiful city, the heart of Africa from the Black Panther comics and film. We were all mesmerized by its strong culture and unique design. However, as impressive as it was, Wakanda remained a fictional creation, a little more than another genius thought from the mind of Stan Lee. But now, thanks to one rich revolutionary rapper, Wakanda... Hey, Hey, Kano Young Jeezy. <laughs> Thanks to one rich revolutionary rapper, Wakanda is being brought to life. With a multi-billion dollar budget, Akon's new so-called solar city will drive the African economy, amaze Marvel fans, and pay tribute to Black Panther himself, Chadwick Boseman, all at once. Before too long, we'll all be screaming, Wakanda forever! So what would a real life Wakanda actually look like? Hey, they've been that busy place. I'm saving all my chips. I know where I'm going. I'm, I'm saving all my chips. I know where I'm going. Allow us to take you on an imaginative journey through the glass-laden utopian megacity in the making. The stunning renderings that have already been released to make Solar City, better known as Akon City, appear as a futuristic oasis for the wealthy. But it's not exclusively for the wealthy or tourists for that matter. Above all else, Akon, the mastermind behind the entire operation, wants this city to be the pathway to a new and improved world, with immense benefits for the locals. What's your first impression of the buildings? Unique? Certainly. But there's a good reason for their interesting shapes. Lead architect Usain Bakri takes inspiration from African sculptures. A nod I mean, that's some cool shit. Nod to the wonderful, thriving local culture that Akon wants thrust into the spotlight. Akon made this clear, telling the architect that he needed, quote, a building that looks like a statue that you can take home, like real African sculptures that they make in the villages. As we tour through the city of tomorrow, we'll be able to pass through hotels, residential properties, a university, hospitals, leisure centers, a casino, movie studios, a police station, a school, parks, shopping centers, and even the city's very own stadium. Basically all of the building blocks for a thriving modern civilization. Once completed, the area won't just be a local icon, but a worldwide beacon for magnificent innovation. In addition to the city's projected population of 300,000, which is about I'm going. I'm gonna fuck with 300,000 in one. I'm gonna go with that. Africa thought they're just gonna keep all this Wakanda to themselves. No, no. I'm coming. Leave us over here with the with the with the trompos. No, I'm going home. I'm going home. Who? Huh? I'm coming. Hey, I'm coming. The same size as Pittsburgh, Uncapped Internationals will have the opportunity to fly into Akon City's very own airport and see the sparkling city for themselves. It sounds like a monumental and foreign challenge for a musician, but in reality, there couldn't be a better person for the no, job. The R&B singer like already is an expert it. in the he solar power it. field. He owns and runs Akon Lighting Africa, which provides solar power to a long list of countries throughout the continent. The visuals and the mechanics of the anticipated city are impressive. However, just as intriguing is the way that the society is proposed to operate. Out with cash and away with traditional banks. Akon Ooh, City shit, economy no. will be built entirely on an app-based cryptocurrency. The name? Go ahead, take a guess. Acoin yep, money. Acoin. Oh, While shit. some can I'm a Acoin. Now Now you need to be your honor, Acoin. That's the first thing you need to be your now you're gonna do this is gonna be your honor. Cause I hate to say it like this, it gonna sound kind of racist. But I ain't racist, bro. 
It's just the truth. These white people are gonna let you do that, Akon. You think them white people gonna let you make your own money? You better ask Gaddafi about that. He made him. Oh, okay. But they don't play that. They want they want a piece of everything come around. You need to get an arm at first. You need to tell all these nations in Africa to build and get the army together. All these countries in Africa need to get together and make one big united continental army. Because you're going to need it because these white folks going to want some of that money. You're going to build that city with them crypto coins and think these folks ain't going to want another bag, huh? Damn. They ain't going to get it. It's scary now. They ain't going to They going to try to stop Wakanda. Considered the notion far-fetched, the singer-turned-businessman is pushing the idea forward as a way to bring more freedom to residents of Senegal and wider Africa. He views blockchain and crypto as the potential savior for Africa in many ways because it brings power back to the people. Blockchain offers a more secure currency that enables people in Africa to advance themselves independent of the government. The numbers are in Akon's corner as well. Six of the ten fastest growing world economies are in Africa, with the World Economic Forum projecting that the continent's consumers will spend $2 trillion by 2025. More than 60% of people in Africa are under 25 years old and do not use a traditional bank and heavily rely on mobile phones for daily tasks. This means that Acoin could easily penetrate the population and spread like wildfire. Think of the cryptocurrency's debut in Akon City as a test run, with the end goal to spread it across the continent. It's a wild and fascinating idea that could revolutionize the way of life in West Africa. It could propel Senegal onto the center stage to compete with the African tourist heavy hitters like Morocco, Egypt, and South Africa. But where does such a spectacular idea come from? You'd expect for Akon to have a clear connection and inspiration for developing his own city. And he absolutely does. While born in the US, Akon spent his earlier years in Senegal before eventually moving to Union City in New Jersey as a seven-year-old. He wants to go back to his roots and see his childhood environment thrive to its full potential. With a net worth of $80 million and a long list of high-profile, deep-pocketed investors in his Rolodex, his dedicated efforts can go a long way to making that happen. Akon also cited the experiences of African Americans. Damn, Akon, worth eighty million dollars. Probably worth more than that. These folks don't know. Particularly the events of 2020 as his inspiration. He wanted not only to create an upscale refuge for African Americans, but to provide a means for anyone interested to connect their history and ancestry on a deeper level. Yet the inspiration for the physical design stems from another source, one that all Marvel fans will know all too well. Yep, the fictional African nation from the award winning Black Panther film. The official Akon City website describes itself as a real life Wakanda, and it's not hard to see why. With the towering skyscrapers and state of the art tech closely resembling the setting in Ryan Coogler's cinematic masterpiece. While Akon City, at this stage at least, lacks the lush river valleys and jagged mountain ranges, with a $6 billion budget, there's certainly room to make some rather dramatic landscaping changes. If Dubai can create its own palm tree shaped islands, then Akon can instruct KE International, the American consulting and engineering firm behind the project, to feature lush greenery, flowing rivers, and perhaps even a giant panther statue overlooking the city. For those hey, that grew hey, up in the. Convict music! Hey, look, if y'all too young, remember, y'all need to go back and look at some Akon song. Anything with Akon on it was a fucking hit. Akon and Nate Dog was the hook masters. Then you throw in a little T-Pain. Them with the big three. You want your song to be slamming, you get them on the hook, and you you in the game. I, mean, I don't know, but what you do, you can be slow as hell. As long as you got Akon on the back, Nate Dog, or Teddy pin their ass down. One of them three. Akon's plans are to build near the village of Imbadine, right about here, just a short drive from the Senegalese capital of Dakar and the state's new international airport. The town will initially cover some 55 hectares, or 135 acres. I just said, what the hell is a hector? I thought hector was a Hispanic name. What's up, Hector? What's up, Holmes? but grow to 500 hectares, or 1,235 acres, by the end of the decade. If all goes to plan, it'll boast artificial islands and a marina with room for world-traveling cruise ships to dock. On September 1st, 2020, Akon laid down the first stone of the $6 billion city. Tragically, this came just four days after the heartbreaking passing of Black Panther himself, Chadwick Boseman. Now, the Wakanda-inspired Akon City serves another important purpose, 
the city, whether officially or unofficially, will now act as a powerful tribute and memorial to the beloved fallen actor. The as city's the phase one, which deals with most of the construction, is expected to be completed before the end of 2023. Phase two, which focuses on implementing the A-Coin cryptocurrency, will run from 2024 to 2029. Could you see yourself living there? Using cryptocurrency hey, every hey, hey. day? It won't be hard to find work, that's for sure. Thousands of jobs would need to be filled. Doctors, chefs, drivers, teachers, builders, and everything in between. In an ideal world, Akon has stated that they intend to scale the concept even further, expanding to all the other countries in Africa so all the cities are connected. But as it turns out, Akon isn't the only celebrity putting plans in place to revitalize the African economy. British actor Idris Elba intends to build an ecotourism complex on an island off Sierra Leone. Clearly, there's a lot to look forward to, and we can't wait to see the result. But before we wrap things up, we at The Richest just want to take this opportunity to pay our respects to Chadwick Boseman. The cherished, supremely talented actor was an inspiration to many and was taken far too soon. Chadwick, we'll miss you. Wakanda forever. And as you Black can see, power. I am not dead! So, could you actually picture yourself in Akon City, raising a family there? Let Bro, that guy be coolest she ever seen in my life. I'm I'm moving there. I don't give a damn what happened. Hey, tell me what y'all think, man. The comment section, man. Gone to forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Subscribe. Notification bell. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Come out. Peace.